Good afternoon, my name is Mia Higashiyama, and today we'll be singing Carabino's aria, Voi Que Sapete, from The Marriage of Figaro by Mozart. <clears throat> Can you tell us what's happening in the plot? I'm just kidding again! <laughs> <No>. <laughs> is our junior in <laughs> undergrad in college. I don't know how you do that. I don't know how you do that. And what's so cool is I know there's a lot of people watching in, in sort of your mm -hmm. age category mm -hmm. as well. And they're kind of going, why aren't I there? Or I could never do that. One of those two things. <laughs> it's probably black or white. Um, and, and it's wonderful. You know, there's so many great things that you're doing right now and it's an exciting place to be because you're at the very beginning, you got mm -hmm. a lot of stuff to start assimilating yeah. and all of it's coming at once, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> it never lets up, just so you know. <laughs> I'm, a, okay. I'm a few years older than you and it never lets up. But that's the exciting thing. I can tell you're curious, you're intelligent, you like, you're Thank hungry you. for all this kind of stuff. Those things, when it starts to get hard and you start to get beaten down where Right now you have, as we said this morning, this huge love for singing that comes across like that. It, you are in danger when you go into the system mm -hmm. of having that whipped and beat out of you. And don't give them that power. You protect this and you revere it and you nurture it because this is why any of us come into music, right? Mm -hmm. And it's glorious and it's wonderful. And you have this open, open, like innocent thing, you know? And you, I mean, have you sung Carabino? No, I haven't, Oh, but this is such a good aria for you. Thank you. I mean, literally me, like at 25, was like, oh, can we stop it please? Cause it's too hard. <laughs> yeah, literally. So you're in great shape Thanks. and this is really exciting. And, and now we get to work, which is really cool. 
Okay, so Mia. Yes. Now, uh, do you know who Carabino <laughs> is? Yes. Tell me who he is. Well, he is a servant in the castle of um, where this is taking place. How um, old is he? He's like probably 14, 15. Yeah, cool. And he's, and he's a boy. Yes, he's a boy. And he's yeah. very hormonally distressed. Yeah. <laughs> he is very just a little bit. <laughs> hormonally distressed. <laughs> so um, just physically, mm -hmm. he uh, is in singing this in front of who? The Countess and Susanna, to the Countess. Yeah, and how does he feel about the Countess? He really likes her. Wow, is he trying to impress her? Yeah. <laughs> does he think like he could actually be with her? Probably. Oh yeah, he knows <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, he's got a lot of He confidence. knows it. <laughs> yeah. He knew it right before he stepped in this room. <laughs> now he might not be quite so sure. <laughs> so let me just, let me ask you, um, does this tell you Carabino? No. Does this tell you Carabino? No. Does this tell you Carabino? No. Hmm. It didn't tell us Carabino <laughs> yeah. either. <laughs> yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, what's so cool also, this is um, one of the fabulous things about being in this art form, is you also have to get historical context. And you have to observe how you're, what you're putting out and how that fits into historical context. Mm. Especially early on, I'm, I'd love to do a modern Figaro. Okay, let, great. And then he's in jeans and he's slouchy, got the baseball hat, yeah. look great. <laughs> but before I go there, I need to know that he's in a soldier's uniform. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I need to know he's just been given this tricolor hat, oh, tricolor hat and, and um, he just got thrown into this room by Figaro. And he's here. And he's wearing pants and boots and he's, Hormonally um, distressed, is that what you called it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, it's the Countess, she's in her negligee. <laughs> <laughs> Susanna, uh, you hormonally distressed me too. Oh, there's nowhere to go, right? Okay. Um, pelvis, square. Mm -hmm. There's nothing 21st century. <sighs> about Carabino, right? Yeah, and we got some and like, oh <laughs> and some this, right? Uh -huh. So let's just, your, okay. your, your breath, we were, uh, again, we worked on breath this morning and this was about like, is the breath flowing evenly through every note and every phrase? And you really actually was flowing really well from this morning, you're feeling good about that. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Awesome, definitely. That, this is a good direction. Now, show me Carabino. Uh-uh. No, who are you in front of? The Countess. How good do you want to look in front of her? No, we just don't. <laughs> Take your shoes off. Okay. <sighs> oh God, wait, wait, she's looking right at me. But, but you've got to present yourself to her, mm -hmm. okay? Broad shoulders, strong stance, your legs are going down into the ground, mm -hmm. right? Where are you leading from? My hips? Or a little bit lower. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got you. <laughs> At least energetically. Yeah. And that's not intentional, it's just what happens when you're in front of the countess, okay? Yeah, yeah I got okay. you. <laughs> and all it is is just this, and who wrote the music? Oh, the Carabino. Yep, this is your song. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Sounded really good about a half hour ago. <laughs> right. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who were you thinking about when you wrote this music? The Countess. And have you ha ever um, had to uh, uh, sing it for, for, for her before? Mm. Yeah, okay. <laughs> My mouth goes a little dry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 What's your heart doing? Palpitating. Oh God, but don't show her. Don't show her. She's looking right at you. Is your zipper up? Yeah. Okay. No, it's okay. Yeah. Okay. 
What's the first word? What's the first word? I can't remember. Okay. Voi che sapete che What are you asking her? What are you saying? Uh, you ladies who know what love is, see if I have it in my heart. Yeah. You guys, um, I know you know what love is, but um, do I have it? I mean, no, seriously, do I have it? Because, I mean, I think I do, but I'm not sure. Because all this stuff happens to me, okay? But first, presentation, and then you can get lost in the song. Okay. But always in this context mm -hmm. of, you understand, you understand better than anybody because you're the most beautiful woman in the world and I know you know what this is and, and do you love me too? <laughs> okay? Yeah. So it's just, it's hypnotizing mm -hmm. and she's looking back at you mm -hmm. and she's going, I shouldn't, but oh, oh, Carabino. <laughs> okay? This is serious. Mm -hmm. This is really serious. Okay? Okay. Nervous, excited, nervous, uh, but but like from here, nervous, excited. <clears throat> What's the first word? I forget. Oh yeah, I know, I got it. Okay, okay, go. Go. Ask her. This great double L, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, how did all of that feel? Good, really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, now first of all, the voice is just going. I yeah. don't feel like you're worried about singing right now. Mm -mm. And it's going really well, and we're starting to get direction, mm -hmm. okay? So as you're working, especially young, and it's one of the, have you performed this in front of people before? Once. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, that's awesome! <laughs> that's awesome. The thing is, you start feeling like you have to do stuff. Right? Mm -hmm. You start feeling like, I'm gonna show that it's here, and I'm here, and this, and that, and that. Then it gets yeah. a little bit part of your world, you know? <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> Here's something that we singers maybe get when we're like in our late 40s. Maybe. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying I'm in, well I kinda am, but whatever. <laughs> You've got Mozart on your side. Mozart knew what he was doing, mm -hmm. okay? The more we put on top of Mozart, on top of it, like icing, yeah. the more mm -hmm. he suffers, mm. and the less we get from it. Mm -hmm. If we can go inside with him and accompagnare, take him by the hand, okay, okay, Wolfie, let's do this. <laughs> And you go inside with him, you become Cherubino. I think he was Cherubino, I think he's, yeah, yeah through the, I mean, it's come yeah. on. Okay, and you go, okay, Wolfgang, let's do this. Voi che sapete, ask the question. Che cosa hai amore? Please tell me. Oh, I love you. Do you love me? Si now Ernest. Please tell me, am I anything? And then all this stuff starts happening. All of a sudden, Mozart goes, ah, thank you, Mia, let's go. And he takes you like this. And the music and the personality and everything mm -hmm. comes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you got to let him do his part, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your part is to go inside and say the words and ask the questions. And his part is to, well, be Mozart. Right. Okay? <laughs> yeah. Let's try it again. Okay. He's right here with you. Okay. This is Wolfgang. Okay. Because <laughs> he loves somebody, too. Feel it. Heartbeat. Really ask the question. Tell her. 
that's um, that's Little Mermaid. Cause watch, okay. watch, watch the difference. Capir non so. I'm so cute. Capir non so. I don't know. Different. Do you see the difference? Absolutely. Yeah. So it, the other one is okay. It's like telegraphing it and mm -hmm. and showing it. Capir non so. Simplicity that gives Mozart room to come in. Okay. Up until then, really good. How's okay. it feel? Really good. Yeah. yeah. It just feels free and it's going and yeah. <laughs> I'll give you a little uh, uh, fill you in on something. The voice is going better too. Right? It's just soaring, mm -hmm. and you're not having to try because you're coming just in it. The breath is going, mm -hmm. and you're just saying it, and you're asking the question earnestly, sincerely, deeply, and you're joining Mozart with it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, quello. And, and the, the way you really say the words is, Quello che io provo vi ridirò. Mm -hmm. Diction comes along all on this legato line. So easy. Nothing. And. Go uh, straight like this way. Beautiful. Did you hear V? Yeah. V. Yeah, that's all you need. Quello. Quello che Beautiful. Take the H out. Go. Closer. More. I hear, this is really tip, but but if we don't have legato on this, we ain't got nothing, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. So I hear, I'll exaggerate it the first time, V, now you're going V, and I want what you got on provo. Provo, you went provo, no break in the sound. I want V, not V, mm -hmm. right there, and V. Okay. That's a habit. Yeah. That's a habit. Mm -hmm. So break it. Okay. So go. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> so in order to break it, you're mm -hmm. gonna do, we won't do it now. Okay. But pay really attention to those things because that's not legato. Mm -hmm. Just like that wasn't staccato. Mm -hmm. And really, opera comes to life and this music comes to life when there's nothing nebulous about it. If it's legato, it's yeah. legato. Mm -hmm. If it's staccato, it's staccato. And demand that of yourself. Demand Absolutely. it of yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The conductor, if he's good or she's good, will demand it of you. Demand it of yourself first, and they'll be like, yeah. oh, she sings legato. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad for a 12-year-old. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Do this with me. Does it feel like one pitch or two? One. Yeah. Bingo. Take it out of tempo. That is so lovely, legato. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So because it's a habit, you put it in the right. voice that way. Mm -hmm. You'll probably just have to slow it down on your own for a while. But yeah. Okay. Don't let anything other than that come in. Because also, what's happening? The breath is continuous. The breath is even. Mm -hmm. There's no stopping and starting. And yeah. it's legato because over here, remember Wolfgang's here. He's like, yeah, me. Uh, yeah, yeah, legato. Mm -hmm. And that also, the other thing too, when things are right, everything falls into place, that legato gives us that sense of innocence of cherubino. Mm -hmm. So it's dramatic, it's musical, it's stylistically correct, it's good vocally. It's all these things. That's what we're, that's what we're going for. Try it one more time out of tempo. Okay. Hello. Oh. Now don't worry about it. You will work on that on your own. Now we'll try okay. for legato, but we'll go back to quello. Okay. And quello is right on the breath, phonating. Quello che Write this. And quello che Come out there. Beautiful, yeah. Tell her. Can we, can we try that? Same thing, one line, no different mm -hmm. pitches. And.
that be more like Provo? Instead of Wow, do you feel that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? That's exciting. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, and then the voice just goes, and it's not Right. Yeah, okay. Can we go back one phrase? Oh my gosh, you're doing so great because I'm Thanks. sending you stuff. Can we go send to an affetto? Okay. And then do, do me a favor. Actually, I'm going to, we're going to, she's going to play Cor I Martir and then listen to the harmony on the next one. Okay. Cor I Martir. Just hold the chord. Angels, the heavens open. Church. Oh. Right? Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, not bad for a young composer, Cherubino. This is kind of magical. Oh, it hurts so bad. You're lost. And then you're heat. Okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. So the harmony of this becomes really cool. I'm throwing so much stuff at you and you're doing awesome. So let's go back to Sento un affetto. Okay. And remember, what's, what you're doing so well, and just keep going, there's this idea of one line, not different pitches, one mm -hmm. line. Say the words right to her, because she's looking right through you. Okay. And. Don't change pitches, keep it on the same line. So we don't want one line and to Voike Sapete this time. Mm -hmm. Why repeat it? I feel like in the middle of the song, he's more, I mean, it is still the song, but he's kind of more in his own head and what he's feeling. And so he maybe he feels like, oh, well, gosh, I just exposed myself even more. I'm going to go back and try to re-impress her. Or maybe he's just feeling like, I really love you again and forever. And so yeah. I'm going to sing it again or just, so yeah. It's mm -hmm. either going to be more like puppy dog week, which is hard to play on stage. Mm -hmm. That's usually the least interesting choice. It's a valid okay. choice, mm -hmm. but it's usually a little bit interest, uh, less interesting. Okay. But what if you dare to like go one step further? I mean, this oh, is yeah. your, your Don Giovanni now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And at the very end, you have. Oh, maybe I went too far. Okay? Mm -hmm. But let's see what it feels like if you really become Don Giovanni. Okay. <laughs> okay? La così, voi che sapete.
She's like, it's been a journey with this piece. I'm like, welcome to Mozart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, never figure, you never like arrive with Mozart. But what are we doing? We're getting it very legato. Mm -hmm. So the breath is always on this very easy track. We're giving sincerity to it. Absolutely. We need to, f you have such a beautiful feminine face. Oh, we gotta work a little bit on how you do, how yeah. you doing. <laughs> Like Joey Tribbiani, how you yeah. doing? <laughs> Contessa! You know, we gotta yeah. figure that out a little bit, but that, that's getting a little bit more mm -hmm. physical. Okay. Um, but the words are coming out better. The, the, this legato line, that's all you need for this piece. Mm -hmm. Sincerity, the words, and that line that just spins out. Yeah. Wolfgang would be very happy. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank, Thank you. you.